Jeremy Zoss is here with me from a brand new company called Octopus Tree, and uh, this is a division of Encore. It's a new deal for you guys. Mm -hmm. You're trying to kind of shepherd a bunch of games and launch your company at the same time. Yep. Must uh, be incredibly stressful for you. It's been a lot of work lately. It's been a big project that we've been working on for many, many months. And uh, yeah, it's, it's stressful, but we're really excited. Uh, we're very happy to be finally launching this and sharing it with the public. So All right. it's a good day. Tell us about some of the uh, the games that you've got uh, lined up. Like, what are we going to start playing sure. very soon under the Octopus Tree umbrella? All right, so we've got three games coming up in the next couple months. Mm -hmm. The first one is called Goliath. It's an open-world action-adventure game with uh, survival and RPG elements. The idea is that you're a normal guy who's dropped into this world filled with, like, giant monsters and these factions that are on the verge of war with one another. And to survive, you have to do, you know, what the only logical thing you can do, which is build giant robots. You build them out of these scrap materials like wood, metal, stone, and crystal. And once you've unlocked those, you can start earning variations on those. Uh, so there's about a dozen different versions of each. And then you can mix and match the pieces from each of them. So when you start building the combo robots, there's actively like hundreds of, of different combos you can build, each with their own powers and abilities and uh, environmental effects as well. Wooden Goliaths will catch on fire in the heat. But in the rain, in the jungles, the rain will make them regrow. Stone Goliaths will get a layer of ice on them in the cold environment that acts as like an extra armor. But in the swampy environments, they will bog down because they're so heavy. So lots of different things like that you have to keep in mind as you as you play through the game. Are you in direct control of the robots or are you just controlling the character that's building the robots? Uh, both. You okay. you start as a human character, you can switch in and out of your Goliaths at any time, mm -hmm. and but you can also set them into like a patrol mode where they'll follow you around. And there's reasons you might actually want to get out of your giant robot. I know like you'd think if you're in a giant robot, you probably want to be in it. I want to live time. in my giant robot, man. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, some of these creatures in this game are so huge that you look like an ant to them in your human form. You're not a threat to them, so they basically ignore you. Uh, and so you can run around while your robot fights for you, and you, like, say, plant landmines in the ground to, for this big boss creature to, to stumble into. Now, of course, a lot of the uh, creatures, when you're in your human form, think, oh, you're the perfect size for me to eat. Yeah. So you have to have that balance of when you want to be inside the robot and when side you want to be out of the robot. When is this one going to be available for everybody? Uh, May. In May. Okay. Well, these are coming up real quick. Yeah, they're so coming you, up fast. You launched a, a company and you've got games sort of bam, bam, bam over right. the next little while. So right. and one thing that I've noticed is that there's a kind of a strategic element to each of the three games that you're talking about yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely. The next game we've got is called Build a Knots. The easiest way to describe it is SimCity meets Minecraft. Okay. So you build buildings in the Minecraft style, you know, just design it, build it. Once you have done that, uh, people move in. And then you build roads, and cars appear on the roads. So you can build this huge city, and once you do, it comes to life and animates. And then the citizens will tell you what they need in order to make the city like more successful. So they'll say, we need restaurants or stores, or you know, you need to put stop signs at this intersection. Uh, and when is this one going to be available? This one is going to come to early access in April. In April. OK, yeah. all right. These are just, they're like, they're you're dropping up. them on us, which yeah, is so amazing. The thinking is that, like, you know, we don't want to make the splash and say, hey, here's our new brand, yeah. wait a year until we do anything. Right. We want to be like, here's here's our new brand, this is us, this is what we're about right away on the ground floor. Cool. Well, the uh, the other one that you have is a new game, but it's a sequel, and it's the third part of a, of a franchise that people have been waiting a decade for. Literally, yes. It's uh, Robot Arena 3. Uh -huh. It's the first two were published by Infogrames, mm -hmm. and uh, developer retained the rights, and you know they approached us about doing this game. We were thrilled to do it. It's a really cool game. It'll be really familiar to anyone who knows BattleBots or Robot Wars, those yeah. TV shows. Yeah. It's about building robots, different types of robots than you build in Goliath. They're real-world battling robots robots that uh, you know are popular in like high school robotics leagues all sure. over the country. Sure. Uh, you can customize these robots in any way that you could do it in the real world. Like you can design the chassis, you can really play around with the vertexes and make any kind of crazy shape you want for the chassis. Uh, you can choose the wheels, the you know the batteries, the motors, you know, adjust the way the wheels rotate and all that stuff. But of course like you can outfit it with all sorts of really cool weapons. So battering rams, blades, hammers, 
maces. Basically, if it can break another robot, you can put it onto your robot. That's awesome. We're living in the era of 3D printers and mm -hmm. toys to life. Yeah. Are you guys looking at that as a potential extension We're on what uh, you know the sure. arena ro a robot arena can be? We're not doing toys to life right now, okay. not for this game, but it's a cool idea. Yeah. Um, and the parent company that we belong to has a 3D printing division. Wow. So we are in talking about can we maybe someday offer people the chance to print their uh, you know, their Robot Arena robot or their Goliath that they've customized or their build a Nuts house, can we offer them the opportunity to, to have that 3D printed and shipped to them? That's something that we'd love to do. I think that's something that you'll probably announce at E3 and then the week later it'll be available. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's the plan. You yeah. know, we might even do it like <laughs> later that day. So <laughs> announce it and it's just like, here it is. Yeah, That's amazing. It's, it's the surprise well, album drop. Well, let's talk about this parent company kind of yeah. uh, idea. Encore is the owner of everything here, right? That's correct, okay. yes. And why did they decide that Octopus Tree was important a, a distinction to get involved with uh, sort of more traditional ideas of game publishing? Sure, so that's a good question. So Encore is a company that's been around for a long time and, and, and is in a lot of different uh, uh, areas. So it's a software company and we do a lot of different types of software. So print, productivity, uh, CAD software, casual games and we're in a lot of different uh, channels as well we're still in retail in a lot of places which is a you know rarer and rarer thing sure. uh, you know we have our managed sites where we sell online uh, that we you know sites that we own so we're very comfortable with the idea of little different compartments that operate in different ways um, and the game stuff that we've been doing we've been doing for a long time but it's very casual focused stuff time management uh, hidden object point and click adventure that sort of thing fun games good games but very different than the games that we're trying to do here with uh, with the octopus trees very cool well it's uh, it's definitely interesting to see a new game publisher announced at gdc i don't know if i can remember that ever happening before and i've been to a lot of these things yeah, well we thought it was something different and you know we know that as a smaller uh, guy, smaller player with smaller games than some of the other things here, we need to do things differently and we plan to operate differently uh, from here on out. Awesome. Well, we'll be playing the Octopus Tree games very soon. Jeremy, thank you so much, thank brother. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button. I, I actually have a, a, a uh, suggestion for you when okay. you're giving the tagline this SimCity meets Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Just add a cha-ching at the end of it. <laughs> SimCity meets Minecraft, cha-ching. Cha-ching. And then a TM. Yep. Yeah. SimCity meets Minecraft. Cha-ching. <laughs> <Yeah>. TM. <laughs> TM. <laughs>